What is up, people? I have got a badass little mod right here. It's kind of a cheapy but goody. Um, it's the VCGO Moonbox from Segeli. This little some bitch right here, even though it's cheap, it's made out of an Altoids can. Uh, it's a bad little some bitch, I must say. Uh, it hits like a fucking tank. But, uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna give you the uh, pros, cons, and uh, we're gonna check it out. So, uh, yeah, we will take a look at this up in close, and I'll let you guys know what I think. Oh, fucking righty then. This is the Visigo Moonbox. This is what it comes in right here. Kind of like the packaging real well. It's got a uh, kind of a hard uh, see-through plastic right here. And uh, the mod goes real nice with the packaging, uh, the box it's in. Pretty decent, pretty decent. Let's see what we got here. You open it up, you are greeted with your mod. Right there. Get to that in just a second. You got a uh, USB charger in here. No USB in there, no sense in taking that out. But, yeah, that's what that is. Underneath here, uh, you got your user's manual. You got a, uh, a car, the instructions for your security code. Uh, go online and uh, authenticate it and uh, all that good stuff. This right here is just a warranty, uh, warranty centers worldwide card, whatever the hell that is. And a, a little bitty uh, triangle certificate. Woo! Pretty much the basic shit comes in any mod box. Uh, this right here, I do not suggest charging your batteries in your mod. Even though it has a USB hookup and you can charge it from the mod, uh, use an external charger, especially with batteries that, uh, that are uh, removable. Uh, Built-in batteries, you kind of got no choice. But, uh, but yeah, definitely charge those with an uh, external charger. But anyway, this is the star of the show right here, the Visigo Moonbox from Segeli. Uh, it's a pretty nice little mod. Um, it's real light, real light. Uh, the only weight really to this is the batteries in it. Um, it takes two 18650 batteries. Um, pretty nice little combo here. A pretty nice little set, I must say. Uh, it's got a dial here for... <clears throat> it says wattage, but I think this is a voltage, uh, voltage dial. Like a tachyometer or whatever. Why they put wattage on here, I'll never know, but... So they did. I mean, what it says, you know, 50, 100, 150, 200, that's kind of in the ballpark of what the wattage is that you're running, but it's uh, it's going by volts. I mean, it's, it's not wattage, it's going by volts. Um, nice little clicky button. Pretty clicky, it flashes, telling you there's no atomizer on here. It'll stay lit when you got an atomizer and you're taking a hit. Um... Kind of nice little 510 pin in there. Um, Segeli has made better 510s in the past. Uh, this one right here looks just kind of kind of cheaply made to me, but I mean it is spring loaded in there. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. I mean it's probably cheap because this box is cheap, but it's nice though. Anyway, we'll pop her open here. Uh, that's what you got inside. It's your little panels, uh, the back and the front come off. I'd like to see in the future, in the near future, they come out with uh, changeable panels. That would be pretty nice. But uh, right there's your batteries. Two 18650s. It's got a little band in there to help you take them out. Um, that's about it. The other side comes off as well. Just like that. Pretty easy to remove. And right there is basically it. That's your mod. A little piece of plastic. And that is pretty much it. Uh, yep. Snap these bad boys back on here. I was at first kind of uh, kind of shitty because I thought that there was no way to really pop these panels off. If you ain't got fingernails, you can't you can't get under there because that that uh, plastic kind of goes right up to the edge of uh, of the panels, and you can't you can't get under there. But on this side, in between the fire button and the uh, tachyometer here, there is. Uh, a way to get them off. There's no plastic that comes up to the edge, so you can you can just kind of grab hold of it and 
pop, pop it right off there. So that's uh, that's about it. That's all there is to this thing. Pretty nice little setup. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else here I can show you. That's about it. So we will take it up top. We'll vape on it. I'll let you know what I think, and I'll give you the uh, the pros, cons, and the price. Yeah, buddy. That is the VC Go Moon Box. I must say, I really like this little kit. Um, this little box. I keep saying kit like it came with a tank. Normally, uh, most reviewers, when they get this, they get the Moonshot RDA that comes with it. And it kind of comes as a kit. But they're not they're not in the same box. You get a, a little tin that has the moon Moonshot RDA in it. And then you get your mod. But... I'm just used to seeing that, so every time I talk about this, I want to say kit. But I don't have the kit. I've got the uh, the Bonza RDA on there. I'll do a review on that here soon. I know there's a million of them out there, but got to have my own review on it. But uh, yeah, I put a little black drip tip on there that came with my Bonza. Kind of goes with the black in the box. But uh, these come in, I believe, two different colors, and uh, they have a different face. Um, there's, uh, the other face is just a little astronaut face, and then the skull, of course. I got the skull, because I'm a skull kind of guy. Um, they come in, uh, blue. This black here is blue. And then, I want to say yellow. I believe yellow. And then there's another black one that has the, uh, astronaut face. And all of them, I want to say all of them you can get either... Either the skull or the regular astronaut face. I'm not too sure about that. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, all pros with this thing. The only only real con I can say is it is kind of chintzy. Uh, it is made out of tin. It's literally, it's literally like a little Altoids box. I mean, it's fragile. Uh, if I was a construction worker, I would not take this to work with me. Um, if you drop it, you are going to ding it up. Probably break it. Um, it's just plastic and tin. That's about it. There's really uh, nothing high-tech to it. Um, yeah, so take care of your shit, and you'll have no problems with this. Um, yeah, but for what it is, it is a hard-hitting little some bitch. I must say. It hits like, uh, like a tank. I mean, it goes by voltage straight from your battery to your RDA or tank or whatever you got on here. Uh, but yeah, let's check out the vapor production right quick. Real nice. Real nice. I, I, I really like this thing. Um, for what it is, it, it is decent. And the price is is real affordable. 30 bucks for the mod. If you get the mod without the kit, without the uh, the Moonshot RDA, um, the mod itself, 30 bucks. And if you get it as a kit with the RDA, I believe it's 35 maybe 40 bucks. Um, and that's about it. I mean, easy peasy, Japanesey. I would not suggest this for a beginner, um, just for the simple fact that it is a powerful fucking mod. Um, at first, I kind of, uh, kind of uh, thought, you know, it might be going by wattage. Maybe they did something groundbreaking to this switch, you know, that that actually made it go by wattage. So I had it kind of cranked up a little bit when I first put my uh, <clears throat> RDA on here, and um, I about fried my fucking coil. So, I turned it down real quick and realized that, nah, they didn't do nothing special to it. It is a fucking voltage, uh, voltage dial. Plain and simple. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it is what it is. It's pretty cheap, pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, definitely. That's about all I can say. I really have no cons except, uh, it is fragile. That's about the only con I can say. Uh, nothing but pros, pros, pros with this. <clears throat> so, that has been it. <clears throat> that is the VCGO Moon Box from Segeli. I hope you enjoyed this video. If uh, if you want more videos from me here in the near future, 
<clears throat> give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Get me up and going. Um, I will have a lot more videos soon to come. It's B Man signing off. Thank you very much for watching.